This is Daniel Drewski for the uh, showing you of my VHS collection this week. Now the VHS Southern collection I have for this week is is the one and only Sesame Street series. Yep, with Big Bird, Grover, Cookie Monster, Bert and Ernie, Snuffleupagus, Elmo, Count, Harry Monster, and many more Sesame Street characters made by the creation of Jim Henson. Yep. Sesame Street all started in 1969 when PBS made Sesame Street. Sesame Street's been around for nearly over around 50 years since 1969. And then by 2015 or 16, uh, Sesame Street ran for PBS. Now it moved to HBO for the, um, for the Sesame Street programming. And you know... When Sesame Street was popular, uh, every when Sesame Street was popular, they even had Sesame Street merchandising. Yep. And then when Sesame Street was so successful, yep, Sesame Street characters made cameo appearance in one of their Muppet films, like Muppet Movie in 1979, Great Muppet Caper with Oscar the Grouch cameo appearance in 1981. And Muppets Take Manhattan in the finale scene with the wedding in 1984. Yep. And one of the one of the known voices of Muppets and Sesame Street, you might you might you might remember. Jim Henson was one of the actual voices. He does Ernie. Then Frank Oz does uh, Bert, Cookie Monster, and Grover. Carol Spanning does the voice of Big Bird and Oscar the Grouch. The one who died recently in uh, around last December of 2019. And, and Kevin Clash was the voice of Elmo and and Howie uh, Bird anyway. Yep. Who Bird? Something like that. Yep. And I like the live action characters from Sesame Street. Even ha I like Maria, Gordon, even Bob. And in the original, uh, Mr. Hooper. Yeah. So that's why Sesame Street still lives forever. In 1985, there was the first Sesame Street feature length movie, Fall That Bird, and 19, 1999 was Elmo and Grouchland. But I didn't care for that, but the Fall That Bird was much better. So in the, during the 1980s, to have the Sesame Street programs were out on VHS tapes and beta from the years of 1986 to 1988 of my Sesame Street home video series for Random House. And in the early 90s, they started to have the series called Sesame Songs, but some songs they used the clips from the, from the previous Sesame Street episodes. Yep. And then, during at that time on PBS, they made Sesame Street one-hour special, like Christmas Eve on Sesame Street, Big Bird in China, Please Don't Eat the Pictures, then it's the... Um, Then it's the um, Big Bird in Japan, Basil Hears a Noise, that's with Elmo, but it's from Canada, and Elmo Saves Christmas in 1996. In 1993, Sesame Street celebrated their 25th anniversary, which is I have on DVD. We'll get that in the very near future. Now let's get through with, with Sesame Street Collection. Let's start with the first tape that I have in the series. That is Play Along Games and Songs, the first tape in the series. And, F and this is part of my Sesame Street Home video series. Yep, look at the uh, spine. And every Ses my Sesame Street Home video series comes with the, um, with the activity book. It follows like the program. That's how Random House Home Video started the My Sesame Street Home Video series since 1986. This tape was got to be first released in, in the around 1986 somewhere from Random House. I loved Sesame Street tapes when, when I was a kid. Yep, those are the best ones. I don't care about my Sesame, Sesame songs. Then they did reissues of my Sesame Street Home Video series back in the early 90s. 
This next one I have, I'm glad on me. The second one I have in the series. There's a tape itself. Yep. The next one we have, the third volume, Getting Ready to Read. Yep. That's why my Sesame Street Home Video series were the best back in the 80s for Random House Home Video. There's a tape itself. Some of those tapes were kindly reprinted it during the mid-late 80s or something. Yep. And there's the fourth one I like for Put Myself to Sleep is... Bedtime Stories and Songs. Some of the reprints of Sesame Street tapes have proofs of purchase like no, tape number six. That's when they became like late 80s, 88 reprints. Now here's the tape itself. It's uh, the late 80s uh, reprint. And it, the tape is exactly in green. Some of the Random House tapes have that in green. Since they started doing that, probably with E.T., when they made the tape opener in green. The next one we have is uh, Learning About Letters, and I know this is the next rental tape. C is for Cookie is good enough for me. I love Sesame Street a lot. I know this is the next rental tape, but we're going to find out. Every cassette has the activity book. Boy, these Sesame Street Home Video series were popular in the 1980s. As soon as I close the box, we're all set. The next one we have here is... Learning About Numbers. This is the early 90s of... Uh, Reprint and the tape is uh, it's in the slip cardboard where random household video starts to make them when they reprint Yep I had this one with a kid and it comes with the activity book hold on um, Comes with the activity book of the program follows along with it There's the tape was a reprint in the early 90s. Yep Next one I have here is the seven tape that, that I have, Getting Ready for School, and it's a mid-90s reprint from Time Like Books. Yep, picture of Grover at school. And oh, my favorite part I like on this tape when Big Bird sings the alphabet song, X, forgot to cut out of this, it's the whistles. Can't pronounce it. This tape was got to be a reprint in mid-90s. The only one I don't have is from the 87 releases like Learning, Adding, and Subtracting, and Big, Big, Big Bird Storytime. I wish I had that on VHS. Now I have here another Sesame Street reprint in the slip cardboard, Sing Along. Yep. I loved this when I was in school. I used to watch it in school. My favorite scene I like, Watch the Name of That Song and Bert's um, Doing the Pigeon. This comes with the song book. Yeah. So, well, the activity books of Sesame Street Collection were so popular. This tape is a, a reprint from the early 90s. Yep. The next one we have here is The Alphabet Game, the 11th tape in the series. Maybe a 1988 print. The original, yep. I don't have counted high written music videos in Sesame Street. Someday I'll find that soon. Next one I have is Big Bird's Favorite Party Game. The 13th tape in the series. I used to have the original, so I gave that away in 2003 when I lived in Queens. I got this back in 2018 when I was in Brooklyn. A little reprint, yep. There's the tape reprint itself. And finally, I have here, hold on. Next one I have here is the best of Ernie and Bert. Show some clips with 
with memorable moments of Bert and Ernie on Sesame Street. This is the last one. It was released in my Sesame Street home video series. I would like to visit the I Don't Want to Live on the Moon. That's a song by Ernie. And that's what Friends are for. Also a song by Ernie. Yep. And you know, the names of Bert and Ernie, they got that from It's a Wonderful Life. Like, uh, Ernie was a cab driver, Ernie was a cab driver, and Bert was a cop. The activity book, I don't know, some kids must have wrote, uh, wrote this with a, with a crayon back then. And here's the tape itself. Trying to put this back in the box. During the late 80s and early 90s, Random House Home Video made some other series for Sesame Street, that is, Sesame Street Start to Read series in 19, yep, they only made the series of four tapes. 1987 was I Want to Go Home and Ernie's Big Mess, and 1991 was Don't Cry Big Bird and Big Bird and, uh, and Ernie's Little Lie. I have here a Start to Read video like I Want to Go Home, 1987 original box. Comes with three stories, I Want to Go Home, Bird and the Missing Mob Mix-Up, and Two Wheels for Grover. And you know, these books were taken from the original illustrations of Start to Read Sesame Street books. This tape is kind of a little acceptable, it's all a little damaged, I used it a lot when I was a kid. I wish I had like the original release, but this tape was printed in the late 80s or early 90s. The next one we have here is... Ernie's Big Mess, with three other stories on there, yep, Nobody Cares About Me, and My Doll Was Lost, the one with, the one with Harry Marshall lost his doll, there's the tape itself, over there, open it, this is the original, 1987, back in the video store days, I used to rent out some Sesame Street tapes, next one we have here is one of the Sesame Street specials, I don't have Christmas Eve on Sesame Street or Don't Eat the Pictures. I have here a Big Bird in China from 1982 special. I only had this tape for 25 years. Bought this in a, one of the retail video stores way back in 1996, I think 95. X rental tape, yep. This gotta be 1987. Well, they say I have to put some tape on it to fix it. And finally, the, one of my one of the Sesame Street features I like made in the 80s is Follow That Bird. Features with two guys who are chasing after the bird from SCTV, Joe Flaherty and Dave Thomas. Also had John Candy and Chevy Chase made a cameo appearance. This is a good movie, Follow That Bird. This is the first Sesame Street feature-length movie, a movie that the whole family can enjoy by Family Circle. Early 86 release from Warner Home Video Division of the Warner Communications Company. Didn't have the barcode, so there was a reprint in the late 80s. There's the formal X rental tape. Yep. And this one had the, uh, the death tone thing at the end of this tape. Yep. So that's my so that's my Sesame Street collection I have. In the future, I'm going to have to get three more. I don't know about Sesame songs. That's out of the question. Until then, this is Dan Drusky saying thanks for uh, looking at my Sesame Street VHS collection. We'll see you next time for, for showing you all my VHS's collection in different series. Good night, everybody, and stay safe.